All right, let's launch this. It's looking good. So the packaging of the Estes Olympus shows an altimeter in the clear payload section, which does not come with a rocket but is bought separately. The premise is that you put this altimeter in the payload section and when the rocket launches, the altimeter reads how high the rocket goes and displays the altitude, or the highest altitude on a digital readout on the screen uh, that you can look at after the rocket lands. The logic behind how the, how the altimeter works is that Pressure decreases with altitude, and the altimeter can measure pressure. So as the rocket launches, the altimeter measures the decrease in pressure and correlates that back to the altitude that the rocket is at. The instructions tell you to drill holes in your rocket so the altimeter can sense the outside pressure as the rocket launches. I chose not to drill holes in my rocket, so theoretically the altimeter should read the altitude at which the parachute ejects if you rig up the altimeter the way I'm doing here, as you see in the video. Also note that you can opt to put the altimeter in the clear payload section as is depicted in the packaging. And the reason you can do that is because there is a hole on the bottom of the tube coupler between the clear payload section and the body tube, which will allow the altimeter to be exposed to the outside pressure upon ejection. So the motor I chose to fly was an Aerotech F12 Blackjack. And the flight was basically perfect. The rocket went straight up and very high on the F-12. I highly recommend this motor for this rocket. And as far as the altitude, the recorded altitude was zero feet. So obviously the rocket went a lot higher than zero feet. It was actually a lot closer to 2,000 feet than zero feet. If anyone has noticed that drilling the holes magically makes the altimeter work, whereas it doesn't work otherwise, Please leave that in the comments section or any other experiences that you've had with the altimeter. All right, a couple more notes to finish up with. And the first is the Olympus flew on F12, which is a Aerotech reload, uh, reloadable composite motor. And I highly recommend it for this rocket, like I said previously. And if you've never assembled a reloadable motor, please check out my tutorial on how to assemble the F12 motor. It'll help you get it right the first time. Also, if you want to compare the performance of the D12 to the F12, make sure you look at the thrust curves for both. And if you've never read thrust curves before, make sure you check my tutorial on how to read thrust curves and that'll help you differentiate um, between the expected performance of the D12 and the F12. Note that the first launch in the beginning of this video was a D12 and the second launch in this video was an F12. Another note is, if you have not yet built your Olympus rocket, make sure you check out my build tutorial on the rocket. The rocket you see in this video is the one that was built in the tutorial, the exact model. And it's now flown three times, twice on a D12 and once on an F12. And it works perfectly, so follow those instructions to ensure a successful flight. And also be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.